Hey guys, Pete over here, Craigless Hunter. And today I want to show you uh, show you a few things that I picked up at the auction. Um, I'm uh, backed in into their warehouse. The auction just ended a couple days ago and today I came in to pick up my things. This is a big place. I love this place. If you guys are ever in Chicagoland area, uh, they're called uh, RPN Sales. It's right on Milwaukee Avenue. You can Google them up. So I figure, you know, they are so nice to uh, let me film here and uh, you know, show you guys around that, uh, you know, I figure I plug their name in. Uh, but let me show you what I actually picked up. As you can see, kind of stuff is scattered all the way around here. Now people are picking it up. Uh, the auction ended a couple days ago. So let me show you what I got. This would be one of the first pieces. Um, it's not old. I mean, it's definitely vintage. It's a cabinet. It could be like a bassinet cabinet. It's got this little shelf here that if you would lay down a little mattress and, and a baby, it doesn't, you know, would fall out. But I was actually told uh, on somebody on, uh, at the auction that, uh, that this is like a dry sink cabinet. But anyway, cool piece. Picked it up for 10 bucks. Um, you know, it should do really well. A uh, couple small uh, statues here. This is a set, nice set here. Uh, five bucks for both of them. Uh, actually, seven fifty for all three of them. Then we got this really cool um, antique from uh, Union Pacific. It's called a spatoon. Uh, it's made out of bronze. Really nice piece. I had these before. They sell really good. Um, paid twenty dollars for this one. Um, this particular piece, uh, I bought it mainly for the globe. Uh, it's got some kind of statue in it, but you know I can use it for some other sports memorabilia. This comes off. Um, it would be a cool to display a football or you know baseball or or something like that. So this was five dollars. And what else we got? Yeah, I got this uh, wonderful butler table in very nice condition. Um, you know, the sides fall out like that. You can move it around. It's got handles on each side. Um, great little piece. Now, let me see what I actually paid for that. Uh, butler table, $15. That was $15, very cool piece. And here are a couple, uh, actually they came in in this little box, but uh, couple antique lamps with very nice statues um, no no name on it no maker I gotta do a little bit more research uh, by looking at the at the plugs definitely 1950s um, so very interesting paid what do I pay for these let me let me look at the sheet globe two lamps paid fifteen dollars for them so 750 a piece nice and clean should do very well with those either in the shop or online they're small enough so i can easily put them on ebay and here's a really really cool piece um it's like a carved wood end table super unique you don't see stuff like that very often um, i guess it could be used for display a lot of different things as an end table just a super interesting piece um, this one I paid twenty dollars for. We'll see what it'll bring. It's just something unusual and different. So, and the last uh, right here, I think that's the best buy of for me for the on, on the action. It's a old like early 1960s or mid 60s. I want to say uh, Zenith radio in very good condition. All the material at the bottom is all in great shape, not ripped up, all original. So that's always good. Um, there we go. 
and not only a radio but also a gramophone comes out as well cool little piece in good condition I do really good with the old radios from 1950s 60s or even earlier uh, paid $55 for this one maybe a tiny bit more that I wanted but one guy really wanted as well at the auction so we kind of went at it uh, but I paid $55 I should still be able to get about 120 maybe about a hundred bucks very very cool piece uh, there's a couple speakers actually these don't open but there's two speakers on each side uh, it's actually 100 watt uh, unit so not bad for the old one so these are some cool pieces that I picked up I hope you uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you ever in the area in Chicago these guys hold these auctions twice a month first Wednesday and third Wednesday of the month always got a lot of cool stuff a lot of a lot of antiques a lot of furniture but you can always find something for yourself I was actually on a list when you guys see the list here I was bidding on quite a bit of stuff and uh, I was probably bidding on total of about 26 27 things and I picked up what about seven eight things so uh, it was really good auction hope you guys enjoy the video thumbs up share subscribe till next time guys peace out time to load this up